the uh, Guild Master and see if I can build an Enterprise here with just a Relation Boost. Why do they have to leave me over here in the effing marshlands? It's The water is cold. We're in the north. Come on. Put me somewhere near a campfire at least. Inside the town at least. My good god. Annoying. Oh shit. There's a bridge here. I like the way they did the bridge. Looks cool. Two moats. I would put some spikes in those moats, though. Thank you for meeting me at the gate, Guildmaster. You're a peach. Yeah, they want to get to know me a bit. We're going to go buy a round of uh, drinks to the town. Hmm? Yes, sap. Thanks for hosting me, my man. How you doing, dude? Chris told me that you said hi. So I'm guess I'm gonna tell you hi back. <laughs> How are you, my man? <coughs> right. Relations have improved. Guildmaster is now happy. How much for the brewery? How much for nine sixteen for the brewery? Nice. How much for the ironworks? Ooh, even better. You're doing all right. I'm tackling a world of ice and fire, my man. Again, because, uh, well, my viewers voted, and they like to see me suffer. Although we kind of stabilized now. We're kind of doing better now. So from that perspective, everything's looking okay. How's your run going? Chris told me that you're playing native currently. Ooh, how many Nightwatch? Hold your horses. 32 broken... Oh, shit. Nope, never mind. Those are Night Watch training infantry. They're literally the enemy. I can't take those guys on my own. Definitely. Hmm. Okay. Scrolling. Move south. Save. We have both of the towns in the Wildling Territories prepped up for Enterprises. Now we just gotta gather the money. It's going alright. You're just collecting castles for the Rodex right now. When your army is ready, you'll empty the garrisons and take them for yourself. Good tactic, my man. Good tactic. Be careful not to make uh, the Rodex too strong. Okay? Because uh, they can be a handful. Single rider, poor and unarmed, approaches your party. Intercepted by your men, he presents himself as a troubadour from Grape Grove and requests your permission to compose an ode about your magnificent, magnificence and generosity. Your men exchange glances and, lo and then look at you for an answer. You grant such permission to the troubadour and fill the man with pockets with gold. I think we're going to do that. Yeah, give him 1k. We gain 3 renown. Only 3 renown? Hmm. Kind of expected a little bit more. I don't know. Get the oh no 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 don't don't take that iron no no don't take, don't take the man's iron. Fuck that. Uh, give me some smoked fish. That's gonna keep the boys going until we reach south. Oh, I see. I'm sorry to hear that's up. All's good, man. You'll get them this time. You'll f them up. Check the inn. More Nightwatch trainee rangers. That's kind of too good to give up. Um, okay, how many of them are there? Six, just one? Okay. I, I guess. Oh, he's playing native, Zotas. No, well, even native has its uh, challenges. All right, so as well as we go, the destination would be Fair Market to sell the furs. Hopefully we get there in one piece. You know how the road goes in the world of ice and fire. It's never safe. Oh, sure. Go for it, my man. All's good. 
Go for the chill, my dude. As long as you and your viewers enjoy it, all's good. Hello, Bezio. Uh, no. Sadly, I don't think there are dragons implemented in a world of ice and fire. No, man. It's native. It's the same vanilla game, Zotas. Well, I guess Warband added the Serenids, but I assume you've already played that version. Uh, morale of some troops is low. Yeah, because we haven't fought in a while. We need to buy them uh, a round of drinks. Mm -mm. Jorel, me and my men. Oh boy, we need to get in, we need to get into a battle pretty quickly. Oh no no! Don't wait. Didn't notice that I told them to wait. Now keep going southwards. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. When he sent lords at the wall, is he going to raise an army or he's going alone? He is going to raise an army, Zotas. Or at least that's what I understand. Now let's keep going southwards. Hopefully we're going to meet some enemies on the road. Now I'm looking for enemies. We need to kick some ass. A little bit of ass. Hopefully not the Moon Brothers. Because the Moon Brothers are gonna eat me and chew me and spit me. I hope so, Zotas. As I told you, I'm not sure. Sending lords to the wall was a little bit buggy last time I played a World of Ice and Fire. Bandits! Please! Mercy! Whoa! Old stones? Discover the remnants of an ancient castle that once belonged to House Mud. Its original name has long been lost, though the local small folk have given it a new name, Old Stone, and received 200 experience for discovering it. 5.7, 5.6, we can't catch them. Alright, here we are. Goods. Decent price on the furs. Not the best, but decent enough. That should do it. We're gonna go further southwards now. Tycho, Grendel. Nothing else. River Run. Hmm. Raven Tree Hall. Oh, so it's literally at Raven Tree. I see. Receive news that a group of young nobles was to join you, but they want more pay than the rest of your troops for their condition. Um, I do not need more troops. Definitely don't need more troops right now. Oh, hello? Yes! Oh, no! No, Lord Paramount and Mortoli. Please. I got this. I had this by the- oh my god, three, 439 against their 18. That's slightly overkill, don't you think? You guys are gonna charge. But, my god. Why do you need to wait to, to day 700 in order to check if Lord Center the Wall generate their own armies? True, you really don't. Just gotta go north and check the wall. So it does. Slight, just, just a tinge bit. They have minus one advantage. Minus one battle advantage, definitely. Oh, that, that guy got killed. Got munched. Ah, oh, son of a mother duck. That guy slapped me with his... Seriously? I gotta be careful with these guys. Never underestimate the enemy. I think we're gonna lose all, all of our lords. Here's a hit going bye bye. No, the bandit leader was mine. He 
had the most experience. I've completely missed. I don't deserve that kill. You guys take him. Jesus. A thief has been captured. Burn the dead. There. And that should increase our our not, not our renown, our morale. Yeah, morale is now at average. Glorious. Gotta keep an eye out for these small bandits. What do we got here? Oh, shit. <sighs> Pardon? Not a good price for furs. Not a good price at all. We could sell one, though, and then keep on going southwards. Freeriders, Zondo. How much for you, Zondo? R really? Just 600? I'll take you. I'll take you and cherish you and love you and pet you forever, Zondo. Yes. And when you die, I will most likely throw you into the toilet and flush. Hmm. Apparently that's the thing. What do you have? A boar spear. Okay. Are you also in the spearman department? No. Infantry. Hmm. Go gather right to rule. Thank you. Next stop. Leave and go to... Hmm. Is Stony Sept a castle or a city? I don't know. I'm gonna go to Case. Case seemed to seem to have been a good location to make some cash. Like uh, Black Goblin stated. It's a city? Thanks, dude. No, Jinx. It's uh, the most difficult mod that I've encountered for Mountain Blade. You're not the only one that sucked. My god, I still suck. I still suck to this one. Hmm. Let's save. Hmm? Just right click on the castle, go to view notes, and read the first sentence. If it's a town, they say that it's a town, otherwise, it's a castle. Thanks, Stinkus. Cool. Let's see. If I join the battle. On Lord Mr. Wyman's side, will we receive a penalty with the Lannisters? He is far from the north for some odd reason. You manage this mod thanks to my mod? <gasps> Thank you. I tried to script it as best as I could. You don't have to feel sad, Jinx. Let's see. I'm not going to involve my soldiers in this battle. You only have me to help. Plus, I assume we're going to be meeting some high tiers. My god, my horse is so slow. I need a new horse. I gotta invest in a new horse. I gotta, I gotta grab myself a plated destrier. That'd be glorious. But Raval, a plated destrier is not as... Is not as Fast as a sand steed or something. Yeah, but it doesn't die as much. Yeah, I got one. Wait, I didn't get one? Hi. I got two. Ooh, shit. Gotta deal with these crossbow boys. They can uh, end my military career pretty fast. There you go. Hmm? Do you know if the bug from Mance Raider's mission has been solved? I don't, Mihai. I don't know if it has been resolved. Yo, Jinx, thank you for becoming a follower. Welcome to Headpoint Inn. My name is Raval. I'll be your bartender, and I really hope you enjoy your stay. Nukes are on me for today. So sadly, I don't, my man. I'm not... Uh, I didn't... wasn't even aware that it, there was a bug. In involving Man's Raider's mission. Horse is always almost dead, D Knight. If it wasn't almost dead, I'm not doing my job properly. Uh, my relation with the Nord has increased. 
My relation with Wyman has increased. We did not receive any penalties from the Lannisters. Glorious. I feel like that's a bug, but glorious. Yeah, they still like me. They really like me. Yeah. The only way that I can tell that this is a castle is because it has only one village connected to it. I'm not seeing that as a town or a castle. Hmm? I did not shipsified. I mean, I have my... I always, always doubt what people told me, tell me over the internet. That's a, you know, a good, uh... A good way to keep you sane and safe. Okay. I see. Yes. Thank you. So, practically, it doesn't mention that it's a town if it's a castle, and it mentions it's if it's a town if it's a town. Got it. Thank you, Tinkus. Alright. Let's keep on moving. There, to case. And mostly make a buttload of cash. Hello, good sir. What type of cash would you like to order? The buttload, please. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a good price. Hello, Ninja Wizard. Welcome back to DN, dude. How's my favorite multi classing person is doing today? Doing okay, my man. Finally making a profit in uh, World of Ice and Fire. Damn. That is too much cash. How are the wars going? Ah, oh, they're just doing fine without me, Ninja Wizard. I just uh, help a little bit here. Get some cash from a little bit there. Of course, Denkis, I will. Don't have to tell me twice. Ooh, that battered full plate mail, though. Mm. Mm. Looking sexy. Too bad it's 45k. Give me the iron. Give me the stone, too. Who won the most? I guess currently the Reach and the Iron Isles would be my best way to, of stating it. The Reach took a few um, Riverland territories, and the Iron, Li the Iron Isles took a few uh, Northern territories. Currently, the rest of the areas are pretty stable. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Lannisport. Sell the rest of the. Oh yeah, making that six k, six point eight k right now. Beautiful. Might build an enterprise around here. We're at 23k now. Oh, we're getting there. I can't wait to um, to have one enterprise per week. Enough cash for one enterprise per week. Which is around 15k. That's gonna be glorious, brothers. Glorious! And sell that sexy fur. Also horses. Are they? You're the Lannisters. You should have armored horses. You should shit armored horses. All of them, Danny. All of them. As many as you can, my man. As many as you feel like... Once you feel like you have enough, as in... Okay, I'm producing 10k a week. I don't need any more. It's fine. Stop. Thanks, Flavian, and thanks for watching, dude. Peace. Okay, so since we're here, I don't think I'm having a good time with Kev Kevin. I'm not an enterprise master, my man. I just 
secure myself enough cash for the late game. A trireme would be good. 70 men on board. Nobody ask you, neighbors. With your senseless drilling. Okay, let's go back to case. Should be able to build an uh, enterprise over there. I don't think they're going to mind. Let's just go to the... Do I know the Guildmaster? I don't know the Guildmaster. Let's go to talk with the Guildmaster first. See if my Withy Charms will be enough to build an enterprise. If not, we're just going to give the boys a round of drinks. Are you the guy? Are you the love of my life? Yes, he is the love of my life. Glorious. Uh, yeah. We need to give the boys a round of drinks. Increase our relations to one. There. How are my boys looking? Morale's average. That's enough. Guildmaster, hello. I'd like to buy an ironworks. Seven, seven, eight. Oh, that's not that much. Kind of expected more. Mill, 215. Brewery, 691. Oh, these boys are a little bit on the greedy side. Wine press, 584. Oil press, 504. Weavers, minus 28. Hmm. I am tempted in a way to go for the ironworks. Well, it still does the most money, 778. I seem to recall that, yeah. We're gonna go with the armor works. Gonna go with this. Glorious. Another enterprise is online. Well, it's gonna be online in a week's time. Alright. 6k. I think it's time to, for us to return to the north. Hmm. All right, let's go back to River Run. I think they're going to give me a decent amount of cash for the iron. And then buy some salt and uh, keep on taking it to the north. Keep the trade route going. Oh, hello, what? You got a small child dressed in rags and looking very hungry. He walks up to you and begs for some food. His family's crops produced no yield. No yields? I feel like it's singular. No yield. And they have no money. Give the boy a sack of gold. 600 stags. And we feel good for helping. Fair enough. We do. See a small shiny, but it's a worthless piece of shish. Keep trucking. Ah, uh, good price for iron. Oh, wow. Nope. We went overboard. There we go. Salt is expensive. Not gonna go for it. Hello, Jinjiao. We'll go back to the end. Dude, what is up? How you doing? Mm, trade armor. Someday, I promise we're gonna invest in <laughs> better equipment for ourselves. Someday. But I guess that's that day is not a day. Let's keep going. Doing good, man. Feeling good. Feeling like I'm making progress in a world of ice and fire. Feel like the gameplay has the gameplay and the difficulty curve have stabilized. Managed to get out of the early game. Understand? Yeah. How about now? How about uh, not giving them the satisfaction? Of most likely kicking our ass. Trade with the local with the locals. Um, not that good of a price on iron, but it's a decent price for salt. We're just gonna go northwards from here. 
Well, what's the difference between a, a Clash of Kings and a World of Ice and Fire? A uh, Clash of Kings is easier and more pretty looking. A World of Ice and Fire is more brutal. But I feel like it has a little bit more in-depth than a Clash of Kings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're not going to fuck with that. I'm sorry. All right. Let's go north. To, I guess Winterfell. <sighs> Pardon? I guess Winterfell is going to be the way to go. And soldiers leveled up. All's good, man. All is fine and dandy in the world. As I said, it does look prettier, Jinjao. A Clash of Kings is pretty looking. Uh, Veil Footman. Let's see how uh, strong that is. What just happened? Troop Tree. Veil Foot. Whoa! Level 18. And they have decent armor. I might go for that. How many of them are there? 29. Ooh, that's a. That, I think that's gonna be a little bit hardcore. They are running away from me. Which kind of gives us a chance. As long as we fight during daytime. Oh, that's awesome. That means we're going to be visiting it, visiting, it, visiting it soon as well. I've been talking all day. Give me a break. Nope. Fuck you, Moon Brothers. Oh, what are you doing, man? You almost walked into the... Death. Good thing. Good thing that I know that pathfinding is dumb in this one. You find both annoying with a random normal and siege events. Okay. Well, actually, there's a way to break the siege system in, uh, in a World of Ice and Fire and in a Viking Conquest. With enough soldiers, with uh, overwhelmingly high soldiers, you can practically force any castle to surrender to you. Oh yes, yeah, Spender will have uh, another update. It's going to have 3.9.4 someday. All right. We're going to make a quick stop at Winterfell. Trade and give them iron. And salt, yes. We're going to buy some bread. Awesome. And most likely acquire the furs. Glorious. We'll still receive 1,800. And we're going to keep going northwards. Champion Destrier, 68k. You can marry it, video game. You can totally marry that Destrier. We don't want it. Let's check the, the tavern real quick and then keep on moving northwards. After we give some prisoners. Not exactly sure when 3.9.4 per Pendor will hit the market. Or did it already hit the market? I'm not 100% sure. I don't really keep tabs on when uh, mods receive updates because you guys are kind enough to remind me. That was sexy. Yo, Benji. What's the best trade route for this mod? Furs from the north, sell them in the south. Finally. Gotta be fighting these guys. And it's daytime, so that's going to give a slight advantage to my archers. Let's see. Just a minor one. I've read the, the update. It's just a minor one. Nothing to jump at. So still work in progress, no ETA. Yep, 
Kind of expected as much. Enemy is over there. I see. It's that easy, Benji. And if any fur uh, from the Northern Territories that you'll be able to sell in the South for a large, large profit. Practically, buy furs up to 150, sell furs down to 400. Let's see if I can get the spooks on one of these guys and try to go for a kill. Kind of worried. Kind of worried that we're gonna die. No problem, my dude. Still can't uh, slash as fast as these guys. Archers, get ready to retreat. Archers, move over here and keep on shooting. Okay, cavalry charge. Doing okay. Move forward. Nice. Maintain formations, boys. Glorious. Charge. We lost a few soldiers. Sorry, guys. I'll read what you're saying in a second. I had to focus on this on this battle it was a little bit on the hardcore side but it seems it's a cleanup now hopefully we're gonna get some good gear from this battle there hello interregnum 1649 welcome to the end good sir how may we be of service yesterday you tried the renaissance mod and you must say it's worth a playthrough for sure is it Similar to Nova Ethos, Jinjiao? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this uh, long Arak is amazing. Oh, awesome. Glad to be of service, good sir. Ah, uh, Nightwatch recruits have died. It's kind of a bad, kind of a tough deal, but it's fine. You'll, uh, Jinjiao, if you could please whisper me that link. Um, because if you're just gonna keep it in the chat, I'm gonna be losing it forever. Currently a mounted sword and board in Regnum. Burn the dead. And... Really? Kind of some shit loot. Hmm. Well, I can give that to Gendry. That's it. I can just give that to Gendry and walk away. Plays a lot like tw uh, 1257. Is it as empty? Is the world as empty as 1257, D Knight? Yo, Pineapple. Uh, yes, just copy the content of the patch over the files in the module folder. Thanks, Jinjiao. So it's, I'm sorry, um, I'm, I forgot how I phrased that question, d -Knight. So is it as empty as 1257, or is it more populated? That was, what, that was what I was trying to get at. Oh, no, 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 no. Man at arms. It's more squished together. Because it's a smaller map. Okay, that's good. That's a good start. A Revelant Archer. That cost me almost a fortune to level up. And it's going to cost me even more once we make him into a Ranger. Of course. Let's go to Winterfell and... Well, give Gendry his mittens first. Mittens for the Mitten God. And sell the rest. You managed to bug yourself outside of a map, and you can't leave because there's still a bandit hiding somewhere in the town. 
Oh, ships you fight, I'm sorry. Hello, Comical. Welcome to the inn. Explain this game for man. Oh. You never played Mountain Blade or this mod in particular? Good, sir. Still haven't tried Nova Ethos, so you can't really tell the difference between the two, but Renaissance mod definitely is great. Okay, I'll check it out, Jinjiao. Thanks for sharing, my man. Do I need to go northwards? Yes, I need to go to Castle Black. The idea is... Well, Comical will have to answer me. I don't want to explain to him stuff that he already knows. You think he's do he's doing Jack and move? I'm sorry, monster, could you please rephrase that? I don't really understand what you're saying. As a new player to the game, any tips? Um Hmm, Interregnum. That's a tough question. Uh yes, I guess. Uh have six horses in your inventory. It'll help you maintain your speed on the world map if you have a full inventory with goods. I guess that's something that people Usually don't 100% know. Uh, what else were those? Yeah, they're running away from me. We don't necessarily want to fight them right now. Let's go to Castle Black. Uh, what else should I recommend? Yes, uh, specialize your character into surgery and pathfinding because you can bring that up to 14. And... Da -da 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 -da. Plan out your party. Make yourself in party characters, intellect characters. Practically specialize a companion into being a medic, one into being a pathfinder, one into being a trainer, and actually no, stack trainer and, and everybody as much as possible. And you'll be perfectly fine. Okay, Jinjaro, go for it. So basically you're so bored and need a new game. Nothing to play, no, no more MMORPGs coming out. So is this game good? Yes, Comical, this is my favorite game of all times. Mountain Blade is simply my favorite. Um, it is worth the play. And, uh, well, do you think this game is multiplayer or single player? Because it's both. Currently, I'm playing single player. Uh, multiplayer can get really, really insane really fast. It does have a following, though, so you will most likely find multiplayer maps ongoing everywhere. Uh, but for the single player experience, it's practically you are one man and you're trying to conquer the world. You are a, one man, a leader of armies, you are one dude on the battlefield, and you give orders to your soldiers from a, either a first person or a third person perspective. You need to gather right to rule, you need to build honor, you need to build relations, you need to become someone, and uh, soon enough, you're going to be somebody... And, uh, well, hopefully get up in the world and become king of a fact of a, no, it's not free. You have to buy it, but it's quite cheap. It's an old game. How did you find Mountain Blade, Comical? Since you know so little about it. Yes, Benji, that's a good amount. In Game of Thrones, there's a man who speaks in that way. A man needs a name. Yes, the faceless one, monster. I know. Uh, it is... Um, this is a mod for Mountain Blade. So it is one of the most difficult mods that I've ever played in Mountain Blade. And I have quite a fair amount of experience with the game. I recommend that you start playing native first and then tackle the more difficult mods. Trust me, you'll enjoy native as well. Zotas, please don't. Hello, Subrosa CSGO. Welcome to the end. Uh, it's harder than Prophecy of Pandora. It's definitely hard. Prophecy of Pender is incredibly easy once you know what you're doing. Uh, Pufulin, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hitpoint Inn. Name's Raval. I'll be your bartender, and I really hope you enjoy your stay. Drinks are on me for today. Yes, you can have followers. Wait, what? Oh, 
you followed. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Comic Call. Thank you for following. Uh, welcome to Hitpoint Inn. My name is Roval. I'll be your bartender, and I really hope you enjoy your stay. Drinks are on me for today. Uh, we don't have enough money to build an enterprise this far up north, so now that we have our fur, we're gonna go back to the southwest. Uh, my favorite is Prophecy of Pendor, Pufuline. Could you, could we please keep it English? Pufuline is from Romania. He simply stated, uh, which one's my favorite mod for Mountain Blade in Romanian? Uh, top three, um, Prophecy of Pendor. And on second place and third place, I'm gonna say Perizno and Warsword Conquest. Hmm? Interregnum, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hit Point Inn. My name is Raval. I'll be your bartender, and I really hope you enjoy your stay. Drinks are on me for today. I just wear a suit for the stream. I am an innkeeper. I feel like I should represent. Alright, coming right up, Comic Con. Haven't tried this mod, but you remember Pre Prophecy of Pender being hard. But I just remember that your last playthrough, you knew how to build your custom troops, and you remember it being super easy afterwards. True. That is correct. Sabrosa. And I will simply repeat what I stated. I, f I finished Prophecy of Pendor. Um, I feel like a World of Ice and Fire is much more difficult. Okay. Go for it, Pufaline. Um, so I'm going to continue further south. Let's check the morale. Morale is still average. Uh, but I'm going to try to fight something to the south, like the Harkleys. We're going to go and uh, engage them in glorious combat. So, comical. Uh, this is how uh, fighting works in the game. We t attack, we take the field, we go in a either, as I stated, first-person or third-person perspective. We will order our... Uh, Infantry to stand in the back. Our archers in the front. I'm going to tell the archers to spread out a bit. Um, infantry will go in a shield wall formation. I'm going to tell them to stand a little bit closer. The cavalry, I'm going to be moving them on the left flank and make them ready to engage and clean up the enemy once we break their morale. What's better, first or third? When it comes to my when it comes to the mods that I mentioned. Uh, I would say Prophecy of Pendor is the best mod for Mountain Blade. Uh, Warsword Conquest, I would say it's a second, because I really like the Warhammer universe. And uh, on third place is Perizno, simply for the variety of factions and troops and its quests. I recommend that you play the native game. It's uh, It has a very steep learning curve. Hello, Charlonator. Welcome back to the end, dude. Thanks, my man. I love you too, random citizen. Not a lot of people will know where that's from, though. Uh, third person is best if you have a melee character. First person is very good when you have an archer. Oh, that's what you were asking. Sorry, Comical. <laughs> mm, Floris is practically a harder version of native. All right, archers are handling themselves. We're gonna tell the cavalry to step forward, bring the archers back a notch. And now, go even further, send the cavalry in for cleanup. It seems most of them have their morale broken now. Lost a few militiamen. That's not 100% good. Everyone can charge now and practically clean up the rest of the soldiers. I'm gonna read the chat in a second. As soon as I make sure that everybody is broken or dead. Good. What will I play on Friday? Sadly, this Friday I won't be streaming Ninja Wizard. I'm gonna be kind of busy with uh, Easter preparations. Also, next week on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm not going to be streaming again. 
again because of Easter and I'm going to be visiting my parents' house. Yeah, I feel you, Puffaline. I, re I restart mods and playthroughs as well, quite a lot. But not when I'm streaming. Uh, you guys keep me going to finish a mod from uh, beginning to end. Uh, Warstar Conquest is based on the Warhammer universe, on the fantasy Warhammer universe. It's pretty good. <laughs> I understand it, Puffalin. Too many good mods. Well, it's your choice, Gypsy Fied. I'm Orthodox. We celebrate it one week later. Comical. Oh no, uh, Christmas, uh, we celebrated the same as uh, Catholics and the rest of the world. I stream from Monday to Friday for seven hours a day. Comical. I'm also a YouTuber. I put in uh, some of the episodes on YouTube. For example, this playthrough. Burned the Dead. Battered Clansman Leather. You know what? I could upgrade the Clansman Leather, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> oh, that could be good on Gendry. I might just leave one of the loaves of bread and take that battered... Pardon, bit, bring that battered clansman leather with me. Glorious. Gendry has leveled up. Some soldiers will have leveled up. Uh, the Dornish archers, we're going to make them into Dornish skirmishers. Hmm? Uh, exclamation point YouTube, and you're going to receive a link to my YouTube channel, Comical. I'm not sure what OSRS is. Could you really tell me the full name? No, no, I don't play RuneScape. It has some interesting uh, factions and varieties, Jinjiao. It gets kind of crazy with the variety. Northern uh, Man at Arms, please. Rogues into Night Watch recruits. And Gendry, which is practically a hero or a companion. We need to level him up manually. So we're going to go with Strength 10. And we're going to add. Hmm, what do we add to you, good sir? I think we're going to give you some writing. We're, we're going to try to make you into a cavalry. Plus, I can only place only so many games. Practically, I'm focused on Mountain Blade. I guess I identify myself <laughs> as a Mountain Blade streamer. But mainly, or mostly. You're waiting on Radio 1417. It's inspired by Kingdom Come Deliverance, if you've not heard of it. I've not heard of Radio. I've heard talks of Radio 1417, um, and I finished Kingdom Come Deliverance on stream. Oh, you're an Apache attack helicopter? Amazing, Lanzer. <laughs> I thought people might uh, might um, make the connection. Okay, so uh, Gendry, you now have uh, a new point of strength. We're going to give you the battered clansman leather. And we're going to give you this heavy blunt mace. The short arming sword will be sold including the farmer's tunic. Let's go to Winterfell and do that. Also, if we find a ransom broker inside the taverns, that'd be great. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's furs here. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Ah, uh, but we're just going to go for an extra uh, piece of bread and sell the short arming sword. Check the tavern. Also, welcome to the inn, if I didn't say it. Alan, hi. Could you please take all of my prisoners? Glorious. That's some extra cash. Now, let's go to the weaponsmith and upgrade Gendry's... Upgrade this armor first. Let's see how much he asks for upgrading this piece of uh, armor. Who are you? Not the person I was looking for. This is the guildmaster. 
Come on, there must be some shops around. Hmm. A World of Ice and Fire seems bizarre in the balancing department. It's kind of tough to balance it, uh, especially since it's coming from the Viking Conquest mod. But they did try, they did buff the archers. Um, the archers definitely feel more powerful in this mod than in Viking Conquest. What's my favorite food to eat? Uh, my favorite food to eat is cheese pie. Homemade cheese pie, Ninja Wizard. <laughs> I have no idea where they're where the weaponsmith's positioned in Winterfell. It's kind of annoying. Let's see if I can see him without moving. Guild Master. I don't think so. I guess to be specific, it's a salty cheese pie, not the not the sweet variety. Although my favorite dessert is cheesecake. I'm a big fan of cheese in general. Hmm. If you guys see any living human being, well, living human NPC, please shout. I'm gonna try to find them. You never had cheese pie? You should, Shadow Pope. It's it's delicious. Uh, yes, they are very deadly, D-Knight, but it, they're very hard to train up, and they're very expensive to train up as well. So, you know, ups and downs. A lot of... Uh, it seems people on the internet agree that the most balanced and cost-efficient factions are the Reach, Stormlands, and Dragonstone. Those are the factions that are the most uh, cost-efficient. It seems we're not going to find ourselves the Weaponsmith over here. We're just going to go south. And we don't even need to look for the Weaponsmith. We're trying to find the Armorsmith. Uh, we're going to do a quick stop at Barrowtown. Try to find the dude there. And uh, then keep on trucking to the south. I, I think so. I think so, Shadow Puppet. But it's not really that hard to, um, to cook. Yes, I do watch Game of Thrones Comic Con. I am, uh, I've seen all of the episodes. And I'm looking forward to episode 3 on Sunday. Uh, anyway, uh, the salty cheese pie is, um... You practically use, uh, bread dough. With, you fill the bread dough with, um... Salty cow cheese, or salty goat cheese, or whatever type of cheese you desired. And uh, afterwards, you try to flatten the filled cheese dough, and you uh, stir, f not stir fry, you deep fry it in oil on the cooker. Once it's uh, nice and crusty, take it off, let it uh, cool off a bit, and enjoy the glory that is salty cheese pie. A young noble spreads rumors you are good for nothing you are a good for nothing bastard. Which is true, I am a bastard. My name is Revolve Flowers. Accusations of sub, of such things could not be good for your image. I challenge him to a duel. Uh, you gain reputation? The young noble prefer to flee rather than duel with you. Hello, Easy Mod. Welcome to the end, dude. What's up? How may we be of service? Lanzer, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hitpoint 10. My name is Roval. I'll be your bartender, and I really hope you enjoy your stay. Drinks are on me for today. Oh, and if you were wondering how much cheese you need to put in the dough, <laughs> the more the better. Yeah, pan fry it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like flatbread. You could call it that. Why is the streamer a bastard? Hmm... Because my papa was a noble and my mother was a commoner. Oh, for Easter. Oh, well, my favorite food for Easter are the eggs. The boiled eggs, ninja. Well, I'm sure we have some non-alcoholic drinks for you too, my man. All right, comical, coming right up. Sure, why not? 
chipsy fight. There's no rule uh, that states that I shouldn't that I couldn't eat cheese pie. Actually, kind of each time I go uh, visiting my mom, she always makes uh, makes me cheese pie, because well, she knows that it's my favorite. Can't go wrong when you give me cheese pie. Looking at pics of it, uh, there's quite a variety of it. You're Scottish, so your favorite has to be haggis. I, we have a uh, tradition over here to uh, cook stuffed lamb. So um, yeah, I like uh, haggis. Probably, probably it's different from haggis, but I guess it's it's similar in a in a way. So I like haggis as well. What color do you use uh, for uh, Easter eggs? Traditionally, um, in Romania, we like to go for red. Mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes are good. When it comes to potatoes, I really prefer the French potatoes. Not French fries, the French potatoes. It's a different recipe. Yeah, I think it represents the blood of Jesus. No, no, not as in Dracula. No. Yes, I am from Romania, that is correct. I actually live in the region of Transylvania. Right, Podrick is now gloriously in our party. Glorious. Uh, let's see if I need to send them to gather right to rule. Yes, I do need to send them to gather right to rule. Perfect. Um... Uh, no worries, Easy Mod. It's perfectly fine, my man. Sorry, we don't serve concubines, Vander. We'll come back to the end, dude. Hamburger? Oh yeah. <laughs> I uh I throw a lot of hamburgers and pizzas down the chimney. Although my wife doesn't like it when I do so. The wild hairs. I think that's a new new squad of soldiers that I haven't seen before. Interesting. Okay, let's go find ourselves a armor smith if we can. Hopefully the shops are inside the keep itself. And this is a cool looking scene. Let's see. Hmm. Come on. Those are the shops. I hope one of them is the person I'm looking for. Good day, good sir. Yes, you seem to be the one. The chosen one. I'd like for you to level up my clansman leather. Ooh, that actually costs a bit of money. Make it sturdy for 1750. Okay, sure. Make it sturdy for 1750. Let's see what does it provide now. 37 body armor, 12 to leg armor. Oh, really? The upgrade just provided me with plus one to body armor? That was not a worthy investment then. Oh, no. Mm -mm. You can shove that upgrade up your ass, good sir. Let's see if there's any affordable helmet that I could utilize. Oh, that, that looks just horrible. The thick cap is thick. Mm-mm. Okay, so uh, I think we're going to be calling it a day here, folks. It's been seven hours since I've started streaming. Uh, we're going to be stopping here for today. Uh, if you like what I do, please hit that follow button. It really helps me out, makes the channel grow, and makes everything more awesome. If you want to further support me, also subscribe. Uh, if you're on YouTube, I have a lot of uh, Mountain Blade guides for you to peruse. Uh, please hit that like button, give it a subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I put in new content. And I try to put in new content, new episodes every day. Um, that's going to be it for today, and I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.